How can I share what I know about Pivot with other people? Oh, I know. A Sprite tutorial. Okay, first you need Pivot 3 Beta. You search on Google for Pivot 3 Beta file front and click on the first link. Once you do that, you need to go to this website, http www.xoyosoft.com forward slash gs. GS stands for GIF Splitter. Go to that web page. Okay, right here's a link. It says GIF Splitter. Get it now for free. Click on the link and then save it. And designate where you want it. I've already saved it once. It doesn't matter if replace it. Yes, I'll go ahead and replace it so I can show you. Now we're going to open it. Run the program. It'll say run or extract. You don't want to run it yet. You want to extract it. Extract it all. Give it the name of the drive you want to extract it. Since I've already done that, I'm going to go ahead and cancel. You can put it in any drive you want. I have an external hard drive, so I put it in my external hard drive. Okay, once you have it saved, you cancel all this out. Okay, here's where I saved it. You open it up. You run it. Now you need the file. Now the only way this works is if the file has a transparent background. So until we actually attempt to split something, we won't know if it has a transparent background. So I have a huge assortment of animated clip art. Let's find something that's just cute and silly. How about a little teddy bear? Right here, it's 473.gif. Now that I know where the file is, I'll go back and I'll tell it which file I want. All I have to do is retrace my steps, find the right folders, and it should be 473. Right there it is. Match it, make sure it's the right one. Okay. Now we need a destination folder and change the background color. Now if we leave it black it'll color, if it's transparent it'll change it black. Now usually I pick green, green's the most common, but as you can tell by the picture if I pick green it might take away some of my green because the picture is green. So let's pick a color that's not in the picture. Mm, pink ought to work. I don't see any pink right now in the picture, so that should do just fine. What happens when the Beta 3 uses the uh, background as a transparent color? So we don't want the transparent color, something that might take away from the picture. Now I'm going to go into the same place that I got the picture from, and oh, I forgot, I need to. Uh, set up a new folder before I extract it because it's going to extract it into as many frames that it, as it is. So here we go. We're going to set up... Uh, I just titled it a split. That way it would be easy to find. Okay, we're going to go back in, find that folder. Should be right in here somewhere. SPLIT. There we are. Alright, now we just push extract and it should pop up right there it is. Didn't take but a couple of seconds. Let's go in, find out how many frames we have. And as you can tell, there's uh, several frames and I don't think I showed you how this looks. Oh, pop up little dude. See him? He's so cute. There he goes again. Now that's what we're going to put into our pivot 3. And as you can tell, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten frames. Now we're going to open Pivot 3. Okay, load sprite. Hunt it back down, that's always the fun part. Takes a little bit of time, especially when you have 
So many different uh, files of clip art. Here we go. And just continue opening them. One right on top of another. Let's make it bigger. There you go. Okay. Keep opening. And I'll show you why I'm opening all of them at once. As you can tell, we're running down like two left. There we go. That's the last one. Now I'm going to order them. That'd be nine. Yeah, my stick figure's in the way. Eight. Seven. I'm putting them off the screen so the clip art isn't seen. There we go. Now from the bottom you can tell what order they're in as long as I remember to put them back in the right order. There we go. And, and actually we need to start with this one because this is the one with the closed box. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to go put this little stick figure dude over here. Okay. He's going to get a present. Problem is if I l leave his arm... Oop, I'll make one arm disappear. Okay. And I clipped out part of it, so uh, what you'll see now is me adding an arm. I made the arm, went in, added it. It should be in the front, Stickman should be in the back. Okay, add the present. And to make sure it looks like he's holding it. And it does. Now I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. Now what I'm going to do here, and I've sped it up a little bit so it would be easier to watch, is just keep changing. And I'm trying to put them back in order on the right hand side so I can just go to the next dot and drag it over. Instead of having to open up each individual one, put one back put it in place, line it up with exactly where the last one was. Just like this. Now, you just keep next frame, next frame, line it up, hit the next frame, there we go. Now, if you haven't noticed already, the pink is gone. Like I said, that's why I picked pink. It's because there wasn't pink in the actual animation. And there we go. That should be the last of it. I'm going to make the thing fall. And we'll speed up that process just a little bit more. There we go. And it has just fallen. Now let's watch it. And there it goes. Again and again. He drops the present. Of course, you can animate your stick guy and all that other kinds of stuff, but that is how you add animated clip art to your pivot videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun!